Om Shanti and good morning to all of you listeners. Today is your 192nd day of your godly blessing. And before we go ahead, for the new listeners who are there, you can go ahead and have a look at this link also. This link takes you towards yoga asanas, towards diet and towards sleep patterns. Have a look at this also in this channel of yours. And let's get back to today's blessing. What does Baba have to say? Baba talks about a balance between giving respect and getting respect. So when we give respect, we get respect. How do we do that in this present world? Where we can't trust people, where we don't know whether somebody is right or wrong. Well, this is the method which God gives us. Let's have a look. Baba says in today's blessing, may you be a master and a child. We need to know where to become a master, right? And where we need to become a child. Somebody who is low-lying, listen to everybody. Master giving suggestions, who gives regard to each one's advice and receives regard from the whole world. Each one's advice we have to give regard to. So let's get into the details very quickly. Whether someone is young or old, somebody who can be young, younger to you, can give you a good suggestion, right? Somebody old, yes, with experience, can give you suggestions. Definitely give regard to each one's advice because to reject anyone's advice means to reject yourself. Rejecting yourself means somebody who gets respect from everybody, somebody who everybody is accepted by, and somebody who accepts everybody. People feel normal or people feel content around that person. People don't feel challenged or poked around by that person. So, who are we? Are we somebody who give regard to the young people who come and give us suggestions, and also to the people who are elder to us give us suggestions? So, what do we do? Baba says, give regard to each one's advice because to reject anyone's advice means to reject yourself. You never know. That advice could take you somewhere else in life, could change your life totally, could be from a younger person. But if you reject that and if you think that, yes, I am somebody who's experienced or I am an elder person, I have got the knowledge of everything, that's what we face in Brahma Kumaris. Let's say I'm a younger person. I mean, I'm supposed to share this knowledge, divine knowledge or godly knowledge with somebody who's elder to me. With regard, we do that, obviously. But that person, if that person has got the ego, that who is he to tell me? He's younger to me. I know this person for a very long time. I have known this person. He's got so many flaws or she's got so many flaws. How can he tell me these things? That's where we are actually not only rejecting our future, we are rejecting ourselves. So we could listen to them, take their advice for sure, without having the ego of being elder or younger. And God says that's where soul consciousness comes. Somebody who is soul conscious will listen to somebody who is elder also and will listen to somebody who is younger also. So the Baba says, therefore, even when you have to cut someone off, let's say you want to cut someone off. No, 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 you're wrong, you're wrong. This is not the way. You know, this is not the right advice. Don't do it that way, God says. How do you do that? From Baba says, from speaking waste, if you want to cut someone off from speaking waste, somebody is talking waste thoughts, waste thoughts could be, what if this happens? Oh, don't do this. Something like that can happen. Or they got thoughts of fear, thoughts of worry, th thoughts of anxiety. That all comes in waste. Fear, worry, anxiety is all waste thoughts. So if you want to cut off that, somebody is giving you advice out of fear. Somebody is giving you advice out of worry. Somebody is giving you advice out of uh, anxiety. So to cut someone off from speaking waste, first of all, what do you have to do? Give regard to them. That's the first method. If you straight away challenge them by saying, no, no, this is not right, then there'll be ego clashes. Give regard to them because they have a feeling of thinking about you. There's care within it. Think about it. There's care within it for you. So do it with regard. Give them regard for that care. Even if it's something about fear, even if it's something about ego or even if it's something about uh, worry or anxiety, at least that's what I've learned from this one is that give them regard for that care for you regard to them, give respect to them and then give the correction. Correction is give respect to them that thank you so much. That's very well thought about, thought of from you. Thank you for being so concerned. Yes, you're always a concern. You're always caring about me. You have care for everybody else in this world. Uh, but then in this case, I think if we remove the worry and if we don't take it from the fear point of view, how about that? Let's do it that way. What do you think? So this is the correct method. When you are filled with the sanskar of giving regard in this way, God wants us to have, become somebody who gives regard to everybody. 
you will then receive regard from the world so what does a king receive king doesn't have a lot of challenges if he has a lot of ego if he puts people down lots of people suggestions he'll have a lot of challenges right for that throne but if he's somebody who gives regard to everybody who has respect for everybody then those people won't feel threatened or won't have their egos skyrocketing for which they'll try to put the king down so we have to become like that for this be a master and a child when to know when to become a master when somebody is asking for suggestion give them suggestion when nobody is asking for your suggestion become a child so a child and a master let your intellect be the unlimited unlimited means i have to think into unlimited direction i can't be narrow minded right i have to think in everybody's advice there might be something which i can extract it's like a bee so that's being unlimited full of benevolent wishes but if i don't have benevolent wishes for others then obviously i'll make fun of others advice i'll maybe rude i might be somebody who rebukes others for their advice and that's not being benevolent so first of all having benevolent wishes regard and respect for everybody is the most crucial thing in this world and that is what is lacking and that is where sometimes we we fail to understand that somebody was telling me something and that was right to do so never rebuke never refute anybody's suggestion give regard give respect and that's how the method to be wiser in this world so i leave you with this even i'm practicing this i'm trying hard every single day to practice this and become better in this i hope you do so so have a blessed day stay safe stay home om shanti